All right, welcome back to another video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So, over the past couple of days, I've been noticing this, right? See, latex gloves on the ground uh, wherever I'm walking, you know. And again, only on the blocks that I work, uh, that I walk on, I uh, walk to, you know, usually my block, going to the bus, block, go to the bus, around the bus stop, getting off the bus, uh, I pay there also i've been noticing this like i said i usually wait you know what I'm saying, a couple days just to see if it's a pattern or if it's like a one-off thing but you know also uh at home right so my the people that live in the house with me they'll also start leaving uh, leaving latex gloves on the ground right even by pam same thing too, I've noticed it. And like I said, usually, you know, I don't really notice these things because they have, well, they have done this to me in the past too. You know, using gloves, right? Where they'll like take off the gloves and throw it on the floor or take off the gloves in my presence or when they see me, they'll put on their gloves. And it's, it's done in a way that's, you know, as I've learned, it is some sort of a subliminal message. Again, it shows that you've been brainwashed and when they put these things into your mind, all right? So again, just uh, documenting, exposing it. And I said, you always gotta look for the patterns, all right? When it's being done repeatedly and with frequency, all right? Uh, it's, that's what happens. That's when you know that they are, uh, manipulating the environment, manipulating you, manipulating people, you know? <laughs> so yeah. Um, all right, so just left the house. I want to leave a little earlier, but uh, you know, I've, uh, you guys know I've been working on this um, this computer, We're building you, using you part as a, um, you know, as a present. For uh, this guy that I know, talking a little bit, you know, uh, he always like, man, you, you're so, you know, you know, you know, you're full of knowledge. And I say, well, you know, because a lot of times, again, particularly in the black community, black children, black men, we're kind of hampered, you know, because again, of access to technology, computers. You know, we have a phone. Everybody have a phone or a tablet. But you know, you can do so much more with a computer, you know? <laughs> and uh, so it took me a couple of days, took me two days to finally get it to, to work. You know, yesterday, and uh, I had the issue where it was just the motherboard. Yeah, so you're stepping on your gas now, huh? Look, look, look at the lighter, look. Yeah, yeah, fuck you too. Stepping on his gas and, you know, lighting his lighter in his hands, right? Now you see, he wasn't smoking anything, he never cigarette anything like that. You just lighten the lighter and, uh, you know, using his other hands to, uh, you know, I, I guess to shield it or what have you, like it's going to go out. I don't even think so, but anyhow, anyhow, you guys, hopefully you guys see I turned the phone. You know, I didn't quite look at the phone as I'm turning it, but yeah, and the red theme. See, the red theme, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I didn't know exactly what they what they doing. <laughs> right again so you see start seeing the pattern start recognizing the pattern you'll understand what it is that they're doing right now you may uh when i say understand you may not understand what they know but you understand that it is a pattern of behavior that they engage in right and and the use of certain colors and certain things within the environment okay so yeah um Anyhow, back to what I was saying. So, you know, then it kept, the computer kept shutting down on me. And I'm like, what the heck is going on, you know? Finally got it into um, uh, loading windows and then it, and I think it was installing windows, but you know, sometimes it's install windows, windows do a restart, right? But it just took a little long. So I'm thinking like, oh shit, okay, it just shut down, what happened? You know, so, you know, like me now, I'm just like, okay, I'm at a loss right now, right? 
So I turned off the computer, which I shouldn't have done. Just restart it. You know, um, then I had to open up a command line and you know, because I'm trying to install it directly, Windows are directly on the on the uh, on the hard drive now, right? Not going through the Windows automatic installation process. And, and I, I, you know, I did that the last time too, where I ended up um, the, cleaning the uh, the USB drive because for some reason I always forget. Right when I see two drives there, that one of them is the USB drive because I'm thinking that maybe that it did a partition. Um, because I did, I did do, I said uh, create partition, but I should have created partition for the larger drive and not the smaller one, you know? So anyhow, but, um, you know, finally figured out, I went online, finally figured out I had to reformat the USB drive, re uh, create another uh, window of media creation disk, did that. Then I had to uh, format the, um, the OS drive the NVMe drive, did that. And then finally, Windows window was installed. But I let, I let it do the automatic Windows install, just to see. And um, it installed, then it shut down again. I'm like, okay, let me wait. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you know, don't panic. And it installed it. And I was like, okay, good, good. Um, finally got that up. It only, only took me two days now, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so. Like I said, I know my limitations, so I don't really get upset or rush these things because, um, you know, I got to move at a, a certain uh, slow speed, you know. So, anyhow, but I got it, you know, created a new account uh, for him. I'm basically, not for him, but just, just for me so I can put it through some stress tests and then I'll put it back in the box and, you know. I do have a monitor there that I'm not using. It's an old monitor, it's about six years old. So I'll just give that to him. And uh, he, all he has to do is, um, uh, I have I have an old mouse and keyboard, so he can have that too. So, you know, stuff I have in the house that I don't use. You know, he have to get his own desk though, and it's, uh, a chair, that's it. But you know, it's, like I tell my son all the time, I said, listen, it, 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 you know, you, you can't follow the crowd, particularly if the crowd is, you know, being, um, going off a cliff, you know, regardless of how happy they may seem, but they're walking off a cliff and don't even know it. And that's the mindset of sheeps, right? So they always have this meme, right? Where you have the sheeps going off the cliff and you have this one sheep that's turned the other way around. I say, that's how you gotta be. You, you don't you don't follow if you want you you lead and the more we create leaders in our community particularly the black community the better off the black community will be but as long as the vast majority of us are followers then we're going to continue to be led astray right and particularly when we know that there are people even those that look like us who don't have our best interests at heart because they're all about themselves and what they can get and you know so I understand that. So I try to teach my kids, be leaders. And if you, when you become a leader, you become a good leader. All right, I never be followers. Anyhow, my bus is coming. I will talk to you guys on the next video.